We are going to simulate a match 10 times, and each time we are going to use a different tactic in that match. Not just a different tactic, but one of the different presets. Thus determining the best preset for you to start your first Football Manager 22 save with... Hanwad! We have access to the Football Manager 22 Alpha to make two videos with. So this is the second one. While we get it set up, if you want to watch me play FM22 coming up in the next week or two, start my new save. Uh, there is a link to the live channel down in the description. That is for a YouTube live channel with edited episodes, of course, of me playing Football Manager. If you want to watch it live, well, then there's a Twitch link down there too. I trust you know how links work because I have faith in you. Yeah. So if you watch the first video that we did with FM22's alpha version, then you probably know that we're playing with Paris Saint-Germain. Uh, and what we're going to do is go back and find a match that we simulated in order to look at the data hub in that last video. And we are going to use that for the simulations. Once we get to that match, we are then going to do all the simulations and look at them. And in case you were wondering, we're just going to quick pick the team before simulating the game. All right, the first one we're doing is a control possession. We decided to do that with the 4-3-3. And even though we've had 68% of the ball, we actually have not scored yet with 30 minutes left to go. The hour's getting late now for the control possession tactic. Can it find a way to bag a late goal? No, it cannot. And control possession, despite putting together a tremendous possessional performance, limiting the opposition, has really come up a disappointment here today. Now let's try a classic 4-2-3-1 quick-picked gegenpress. How is that gonna do for us today? Now what we'd heard is that, you know, well, the gegenpress might not work for 90 minutes, because stamina is going to be a lot more uh, important, more heavily weighted. You're not just going to be able to run at your full speed all of the time. We forgot to turn off replays. Sorry, I don't normally do this. It's a lovely little goal by Kylian Mbappe. Oh, brilliant. I will say the Gegenpress does seem to be hitting a lot less effective than the control possession was, even though we have a goal. The shots are five to three. The possession is like dead even. There is a very distinct difference that's been found between these two teams. And obviously with tweaking to these tactics, you're going to be able to find opportunities to make all of them good. I'm sure that's what we're getting is that this is going to be a very balanced match engine experience. But what we are seeing is Gegenpress not being as good. Ha! Huh. Gegenpress did just actually ring up a couple of quick goals. So there's uh, the Gegenpress is starting to hit its stride, but we'll see if we get later in the game already given up a goal to Thomason makes it 3-1. If later in the game, a couple more shots start to come from Strasbourg, who are our hapless opposition today because our team starts to get tired from all of this pressing because we're not making any subs, right? We're only doing the bare basic and just checking out the preset. So even though the match control with the Gagan press was not nearly as good and we finished 50-50 on possession, actually gained a few points right at the end, the 4-2-3-1 Gagan press gets a check mark. It won the match. Next up on the list of our presets, we are going to go to a 5-2-3 for the Tiki Taka. Let's do this. Well, two minutes in on the Tiki Taka, we're off and running, but uh, the only goal... <laughs> the only goal we've scored is less than quality. What we're seeing Tiki Taka actually is holding the ball, maybe even better than control possession. The jury is still out, but you can really hold the ball in this game. So the Tiki Taka scored two goals. We're not really gonna give it credit for either of those goals though, because they are both off set pieces. It, yeah, the second one involved the Lionel Messi header from a set piece. Huh. I like this little bar under the clock, lets you know how much time you got left. I like that. Okay, finally, it looks like we've gotten a goal. Well, Tiki Taka is done. Good performance, two set piece goals, and the XG may be a little low at 1.5, but 65% possession, and the opposition had literally one shot for 0.03 XG and had like a wall of yellow cards instead. It's a good performance. Next, but Zealand, what about the vertical Tiki Taka? Have no fear. It's next. Well, the vertical Tiki Taka is absolutely pushing the tempo more than the other ones, but it also conceded the opening goal. So come on. So the vertical Tiki Taka 
actually got the benefit of a red card right before halftime, but you can see even before we kind of hit the halfway mark, it was wind sprinting XG. Like talking one and a half in the first half, added over one and a half in the second half after the card, but conceded a goal, only scored one goal that was tactic driven does seem like that direct ball splitting defenses though that's going to be in play next up a five at the back formation for wing play preset Ooh, this was an interesting one i really like the attacking we saw from wing play all three of the goals came from that inside out back inside style but it did not control the game well at all just 41 percent possession so i think you need to combine some of the concepts of wing play with something that will help you get a bit more of the ball because if we only had 41 percent possession this isn't exactly going to be a banging way to control a match. We also got outshot, but playing it from out to in, if you've got good guys that can cross the ball, it can be really dangerous in FM22. Now one you've been looking forward to. Route 1 with a 4-4-2. We're playing proper football today, lads. That's what I tell them. Boys, today you will play proper football. Some of you, <coughs> Neymar, for the first time. All right, at the end of this, you could say, look, we didn't have the personnel, obviously, for a classic Route 1. You got to keep that in mind looking at these tactics. But we did have speed up top, and we did win. Uh, a couple of these goals did come from playing that much more direct style on the 4-4-2, getting somebody in the channel that then can finish. But again, control of the game certainly lacking. Didn't have most of the ball. Gave them almost an entire point of XG. They were within 0.23 of us. I don't think Route One's going to end up being the best. Unfortunately, you can get better personnel for it, though. Tony Pulis is going to be very disappointed with these results. We're going to jump into a natural 4-3-3 with the fluid counterattack. Fluid counterattacking seemed good, but there was only really one goal that was scored off of a fluid counterattack of the three that PSG managed to score. It was a set piece and a banger. So this, the XG not necessarily indicative of how well the tactic played. And looking to play counter might not be super successful because we did actually give up seven shots in 0.74 XG, which is not what you're looking for out of a tactic that wants to play defense first and then go forward. Try and change the luck of the counterattack. Now we go direct counterattack. Uh, so yeah, this one didn't uh, didn't go particularly well. We even tried the 4-3-3 this time. Next, we're trying the Catenaccio. I, uh, I this sounds super fun. I don't think this is going to work. We gave it the most attacking variety, though. We'll see. A five at the back with two wings and a striker. Is this the year of real low block tactics? Direct counterattack? Counterattack and fluid might disagree. Okay, low blocks might not be great. Here's why. Thomason, who in these simulations that we're able to do, has been sent off twice in eight of them. He gets sent off, but still we see Strasbourg actually play well, equal in shots. Their goal was off a direct free kick. Uh, the one of the two goals for us with PSG was an absolute banger that had nothing to do with it. Uh, and the low blocks actually gave up more chances than we saw from the, the higher block stuff, like the tiki-taka and the controlling of possession. Of course, control possession didn't do a whole lot of scoring either. It needed one of those bangers. There's one more hope for the low blocks, and that's the fact that we're going to the park the bus with a classic 4-4-2. I'm not optimistic. Even less so than the last time I said I wasn't optimistic. That goal! Oh! Well, it actually ended up being the worst one. We were roundly outplayed, outshot, nearly outpossessed. They had the better chances. What we did see, though, were things that feed into broader trends. Uh, and let's hit that now. Broader trends in a recap. The broader trends are that speed over the top still kills. We saw Kylian Mbappe score a couple of goals with a nice long ball strike over the top of a defense, and that being farther up the field, or at least seeking control of the ball, is still something that's going to be better. And what do I think was the best tactic out of the 10 that we watched well you saw the stats after each one but i think wing play was a really pleasant surprise and the idea of tiki taka and vertical tiki taka being able to control the game and still strike quickly was really valuable now the counter-attacking tactics you would have thought we would have been absolutely devastating on we weren't so i'm sorry to your low block heroes out there this might not be your year, but it's worth remembering this is still the alpha version and a lot is going to change before the game is actually finally released on November 9th. But you can find out more about the alpha version by checking out a couple of the videos from the channels down in my description. A couple of other awesome creators who I'm great friends with also got access to the alpha version. So check them out there. I will see you on stream on Twitch. It has been a blast and thank you so much for allowing me to take a look at the uh, alpha version. I wish we could make more, more videos of it, but 
they've got to take it back to the lab and get it ready for actual release. This is all we can do. We only got to play it for like a day. I want more time. 